Today we're going to take a quick look at the Wallbox Pulsar Plus. I've been looking forward to getting a hold of one of these since CES 2020 last year when I spoke with Wallbox uh, General Manager of North America, Doug Alfaro. Uh, at the show, uh, the plan was to launch the Wallbox at some point in 2020, uh, but it took until January of 2021 probably COVID related delays. But in any event, Wallbox just sent me one of these. We're gonna do an unboxing and first impression video today, uh, along with installation and app setup. But for the full review, including our deep freezer test, I need to use this thing for a couple of weeks. So look to see that in three or four weeks from now, I'll have the full review and rating of the Wallbox a Pulsar Plus up here on State of Charge. But for now, I'm gonna open this box up. We're gonna take a look, we're gonna install it and get our first impressions. So let's open this guy up and see what she looks like. Now the Pulsar Plus is a very compact EVSE. It's less than eight inches square and only comes off the wall uh, about four inches. Okay, what do we have here? It looks like we have a box inside of a box. All right, there we go. This is probably gonna turn into like one of those Russian doll things where we just keep opening and opening it and then there's a little box at the end like that. that's that big. But we're gonna give it a shot anyway. All right, how's this guy open? Oh, okay, here we go. There's wall box. Got our installation guide. Here, I'll turn this over so maybe you guys can see what this looks like. Here is mounting hardware. And this looks like the main unit is here. Okay. There we go. That's it. Here we go. Here's the unit, as you can see, it's pretty small, nice and compact. I like compact uh, chargers, as you can kind of compare it to um, ChargePoint, Home Flex, NLX Juice Box, the Open EVSE. That's pretty close. Flow Home, Clipper Creek, which is huge. This is like three Clipper Creeks. <laughs> the Bosch, on the other side, we've got the Grizzle E. This is the new Alpha Charger by United Chargers, and then our Tesla wall connector. So compact it is, uh, and it comes with a 25 foot cable, which uh, for those that watch this channel know I appreciate. I like cables to be at least 20 feet long. 25 feet is the longest that you can have, I believe by code. And first impression of the connector is I love it. It is a really rubberized grip, solid, very well constructed uh, connector. Um, this might, this might go up there with one of my favorite connectors. I think my favorite connector right now is the ChargePoint Home Flexes and also the Clipper Creeks connectors. They just feel good in your hand. They have a rubberized grip. They don't feel plasticky like they're gonna slip out of your hand. This, this grip is great um, and uh, feels nice and solid and really well made. So I'm gonna take the uh, installation hardware out now, get this thing installed, and we'll take a look at it once it's up on the wall. The Pulsar Plus comes with four screws, two to mount the unit, and two to mount the remote connector holster. They also include the four uh, drywall anchors if you can't find a stud. Now before you mount the unit, you have to remove the, uh, this pl bl plastic mounting plate. There are two screws on the bottom of the unit. You have to remove those first Do this upside down. There we go. And then this plate should slide off. And then this is what gets mounted on the wall. This side goes against the wall. You just use these two holes. And then this snaps back onto it and holds the unit up. After you have attached it, obviously you put these two screws back in. Let's take a look once we have it up on the wall. 
Mounting wall box Pulsar Plus on the wall is really easy. Uh, here's the mounting plate that I showed before. And if you notice, there's four possible screw holes that you can use. If you can land the two on a stud, you're fine. It'll be nice and secured. If you can't and you need to use drywall anchors, I recommend that you also use these two additional holes so you have four good strong uh, screws in the wall because this thing can get jostled around a little bit while it's on the wall. The cable can get pulled a little. You want to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, so you have this mounting bracket on the wall. Then take your wall box and it just simply snaps into the top oops, and snaps on like that. The only thing you have to do at that point is take the two tiny little screws I showed you before and put them in the two bottom corners of the unit to secure it to the mounting bracket. Once that's done, you plug her in. You're going to see the ring blink a little bit until it shows solid green. There we go. Wall box is ready to go. Well, kind of. Um, there's two more things we have to do. We want to mount our uh, connector, holster, and cable management system. This just gets two screws. It's Maybe you can see that now through the bottom of the unit. You kind of need to have a long screwdriver to fit through there. So I'm going to mount this on the wall around here, hang the cable around it. And then we need to set up the um, uh, wall unit with our app. We need to connect this to our app. So we have the uh, smart charging Wi-Fi enabled features of the wall box. Okay, so we have the connector holster installed. You'll notice on the top here, there's a big wide lip so that the cable can hang and it won't fall off. But I also noticed that the top of the wall box is also tapered. And you could actually hang this here if you wanted to. Um, if you wanted to hang a couple loops there, if the connector holster was someplace else, the cable's not gonna fall off that either. Another reason to make sure that uh, when you mount the wall box Pulsar Plus, it's mounted securely to the wall, especially if you're gonna drape the cable over it. Now, people ask about these remote connector holsters. Now, uh, electric car chargers have either integrated connector holsters where the there's a holster built into the unit uh, or remote con connector holster which is what the wall box comes with now the advantage of having a remote connector holster is the fact that you can mount this wherever you want you don't have to put it right next to the wall box like i did here for demonstration purposes you could have your wall box pulsar mounted on a wall here but your connector holster on a wall 10 feet away, maybe that's right where the charge port of your electric car is when you pull into your garage. That way you don't have to walk 10 or 12 feet over to grab the connector. You could pull the car in, just reach to the wall, plug it in when you're done, you unplug it and you just holster it on the connector. Personally, I like having both. I, I think it's an advantage to having an integrated connector holster in the main unit. Uh, maybe something right down here, but then also having the company supply you with a remote connector holster. Let you decide where you want to holster the connector, either in the main unit or someplace remotely. One of the advantages of having um, the connector holster uh, integrated into the main body of the EVSC is then it can have uh, back lighting. Uh, a little LED light so you come home it's a dark garage or maybe this is mounted outside and it's dark out at night sometimes it's hard to find the connector holster you're, 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 you're hitting it like that you don't get it in um, if it when it's integrated into the main body of the unit and there's a nice backlit LED it's very easy to, to holster the connector and pop it in we're splitting hairs here but that's what we do here on state of charge we um, study every little aspect of home charging and give you the advantages and disadvantages. Some of them are little, some of them are big, but uh, personally for me with my connector holsters, I like to have them backlit. It just makes plugging the connector back into the holster much easier when it's dark out. So as you can see, the ring around the wall box Pulsar Plus has changed from green when we first plugged it in, that's standby mode, to blinking blue. 
That means the Pulsar Plus is actively charging a vehicle and it's charging my Tesla Model 3 right now. I just checked and it is delivering the full 40 amps that the Wallbox Pulsar Plus is capable of delivering. Now this is the plug-in version that comes with a NEMA 1450 plug. Uh, because the NEMA 1450 plug uh, can only deliver up to 40 amps, that's what the wall box is limited to. Now they do sell a higher amperage version of this. It's a 48 amp version of the Pulsar Plus, but that needs to be hard, hard wired. And I asked Wallbox to send me the 40 amp version because it's easier for me to set up in the studio here. Now, one thing I need to point out, if you call an electrician to install your NEMA 1450 outlet uh, before you get your wall box, there's a couple things you need to know. First of all, the, the, the wire on the wall box is only about 12 inches. And you kind of want this unit to be somewhere around eye level. So the, the outlet needs to be somewhere between 42 and 45 inches off of the ground. Uh, so that way when you plug this in, it's kind of at eye level. Uh, that's number one. Number two, the 1450 plug that comes on the Pulsar Plus is installed with the ground down. As you can see here, this is ground down. This is the ground pin. Some chargers have it with the ground up. That's why I have different configurations here on the wall. Uh, for instance, this would be ground up. This would be plugged in like this. If you uh, have an outlet installed in your garage and the electrician puts it with the ground up, this plug will be turned around. You won't be able to, to plug the wall box in. The cable will be bent sharply. So you want to make sure you tell your electrician when he installs it, install it with the ground down like this outlet here. So now you have your, your dongle going up towards the wall box. That's important. A lot of people don't realize uh, electricians will install outlets either way. Uh, there's no real set standard. Now, most electricians will install these with the ground up and that won't work with your wall box. They do that because it's, it's safer. If the, if the outlet is not, if the plug isn't completely plugged in and something falls in between the plug and, and the outlet that's metal, it'll hit the ground pin if it's ground up. But in the case of how the wall box is configured, it'll hit a live pin, not so safe. Now this is a small chance that's gonna happen, but uh, if you don't specify to your electrician, you don't know what you're gonna get. He might install it with the ground down and then you're gonna have a problem when you get your wall box. So as I said, this is a 40 amp unit, which is pretty high powered for, especially for such a small compact unit. I like that, that it's small and also high powered. This enclosure is a NEMA 4 enclosure, which is better than most chargers today come with NEMA 3 enclosures. There are some that have NEMA 4 enclosures, but that just gives you a little bit better protection against blowing rain and snow. Uh, NEMA 3 enclosures are still good for outdoor use, but NEMA 4 is a little bit better. And if you live in an area that gets frequent blowing rain and blowing snowstorms, I recommend that you go for a NEMA 4 unit, which is what the wall box has. Now it also has the ability to adjust the power output. Um, as I mentioned, this is a NEMA 1450 outlet. It needs to be on a 50 amp circuit. If you don't have 50 amps available at your house for a dedicated circuit for the wall box, you can um, tone, uh, lower the amperage that the, that the Pulsar Plus will take. It goes from, uh, you can adjust it from 16 amps all the way up to the 40 amps. Uh, you do that through the app. Uh, some chargers let, have pins that are inside the unit, some that you control through the app. The, the Pulsar Plus, you, you control through the app. Um, it also has the ability to power share, which is a really good feature. Um, you can have multiple Pulsar Pluses in your garage. Let's say you have two electric cars and you buy two of these, you can have them share a single circuit and they'll intelligently communicate between the units so they don't overload the circuit. That's a good feature to have. Now, once you set, once you install the wall box like I do here, if you notice, I haven't configured the, uh, the, the app yet and set it, paired it with my Wi-Fi, but it still charges the car. You don't have to install this as a Wi-Fi connected smart charger. You can just plug it in and use it as is. 
I recommend that if you're gonna spend the money to have a smart charger, um, you probably wanna use those features, but if for some reason you don't want to or you can't, it, it'll work just fine without the Wi-Fi uh, configuration. So the only thing left to do is download the Wallbox app, which I just did, and pair it with the charger. Now there's a serial number on the side of the unit that you need to get to, in order to connect it with your app, which I did. And uh, from that, you can view the uh, current charging session. You could view previous charging sessions. You could set schedules if you're on a time of use plan. You could even talk to your Amazon Alexa or Google Home Assistant. The Pulsar Plus, it, Plus is compatible with those units. So if you have a smart home, you can say, hey, Alexa, start charging my car, and the Pulsar Plus will start charging the car. Uh, we're gonna go into some of those details a little bit more in depth when we do the full review of the Pulsar Plus. This was just a brief overview, unboxing and installation video. And that's pretty much all we have here today. The only two things I'd like to add is the Pulsar Plus comes with a three year warranty and it is UL safety certified, which we recommend you look for when you buy home charging equipment. Um, the full review is gonna come up in a couple of weeks. Once we've been able to use this uh, for a few weeks, um, we'll be able to do our full review, including our cable deep freeze test. We'll put it to our charger rater and give you guys a score based on a five-star system. Let you decide if you wanna buy the Pulsar Plus or not. Now, talking about buying, the Pulsar Plus is available from the Wallbox website now at $649. And there is a $50 discount if you were to order one by the end of this month, which is February now. So you've still got uh, about three weeks left to save $50 and you can get it for $599, which is not a bad price for a 40 amp Wi-Fi connected smart charger with a 25 foot cable that's NEMA 4 rated. Um, it has the ability to power share, as I said earlier. This thing's packed with features. So for $599, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, that's it for today. Don't forget, click that uh, subscribe button, tap the notification bell, so you don't miss any upcoming content, including the full review from the Pulsar Plus here on State of Charge. Thanks for watching.